Everyone's praising Sora too, and to be fair, it's incredible. The visuals are cinematic, the motion feels natural, and the realism is great. But there's one big catch when you try to use the API that changes everything. Yes, you can upload images to then turn them into videos, but you can't do it if it contains a photorealistic human. The moment that Sora detects a person in that image, unless it's an authorized one like at Sam A for Sam Altman, it's going to refuse to generate that video. You're going to see this error message pop up. And to be honest, that's going to eliminate a lot of use cases for AI ants at the moment. Think about it, these can be incredibly expensive models to actually run through and generate videos with. A lot of people start off by generating an ad concept with a person in it, maybe holding a product as an image first, and then to improve the accuracy of the output, put that into AI video model tool to then turn it into a video. But you can't do that anymore with Sora 2 if it contains a person. And this really affects the consistency that you're going to have between different videos. Because what it means is you can generate an amazing video once, but if you try to replicate that person again in another video, at the moment, you're not able to do that with the moderation system. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to come across to this NA10 workflow that's directly using the OpenAI API. So first, how does this workflow actually work? Well, we're going to be getting a user request coming through, asking for some details around the image they want to generate, any reference images they want to include, the preferred model, and if they want the video to be vertical or landscape. We're then going to come through, check if an image has been included. We're going to use a Gemini module to then analyze that image, because of course, if we're trying to generate a prompt around the story and the videos we want generated, it's like asking a chef to create a meal without telling them the ingredients. We want to make sure that we're passing in as much detail as possible, so when we come through into here, it really knows how to go through and generate that video for us. We're then going to come back into here, double check if we did have that reference image. If we did, we're then going to go through and do image to video generation. I'm going to show you how that works with our alien demo in a second. And if you want to go through and just do text to video first, like with our firefighter example we're going to do, it will just take that pure text prompt we want to use. The great thing about both of these is it doesn't require any additional subscription because we're directly integrating with OpenAI. And if you're wondering about costs, you've got Sora 2, which starts at 10 cents per second. And then you've got Sora 2 Pro, which starts at either 30 cents or 50 cents per second. We're then going to go through and check the status of that video that we're generating. Once it's all good to go and we can actually download it, we're going to come through, download that video and store it in our Google Drive so we can use it in the future. So let's jump into that first example around text to video. We're going to do execute workflow. We're going to paste our request in there, which is just saying that we want one of those viral body cam footages that we can use. We're going to choose Sora 2 Pro and we want it to be a landscape video. We're going to press submit and now it's going to start going through and generating the output for us. We're going to generate an improved prompt to be able to get a better AI generated video. We'll then trigger our OpenAI request. So we're going to wait for this to process and then I'll show you the end result. So it's now generated our video for us. So we're going to open this up. Visibility's low, kitchen's still smoldering, apartment's clear so far. Moving to the hallway, watch the ceiling, water's coming down heavy, I'll check that bedroom next. And as you can see there, that video looks generally amazing. It's hyper-realistic in what's going through. There's an issue with the second firefighter for how real they look. Again, it's completely missed parts of their body, but it looks much more realistic than lots of other video generators out there at the moment. The sound is great, the fog is great, the movement of the camera, the person looks incredibly realistic. So now we're going to go through and give it another request. We're going to say that we want it to generate a stock motion animation scene with the image that you can see now for the two aliens, which of course are not photorealistic, so we shouldn't run into an error. 
We're going to say that we want Sora 2 landscape and submit this. Now, if we come back across, we're going to analyze that image with our Gemini account. We could use OpenAI for this instead, pass it into our storyboard generator, and then try and go through and generate a video with it. So we're just getting that video back now. And let's give it a look. Oh, hello there, Earth friend. Care to join us for coffee and a pastry? There's plenty of room at our table. And as you can see there, a fun spin, and you're able to generate some really fun videos for this specific style. But if we want to go through and create multiple ones with photorealistic people, we're not able to do that at the moment, unless I mentioned the, the authorized ones, like at Sam A. So to show you, we're going to do execute workflow again. I'm going to upload this image, as you can see, which is just going to have a man holding a bag, what could be like athletic greens or hued or something like this, that would then go into a blender, maybe as part of a smoothie. There's nothing wrong with this image. There's no restrictive content, nothing like this. So what we can do is put our request in here, which is just simple, saying that we want to animate it into a short clip. We're going to do Sora 2 Pro. We're then going to do vertical and press submit, exactly the same as we've done for the other videos so far. What we're going to find in here is that it will still analyze the image, generate an actual AI video prompt for us. OpenAI is going to accept the request, but when we check the video status, it's going to show us that the video was blocked from generating due to moderation. So there we go. If I just pause it and we open it up, as we can see here, the moderation system has stepped in and blocked it. And Sora 2 just kind of limits your creativity. You're not able to generate consistent characters that can go into stories. You can't generate user generated content or UGC ads or adverts or bring products to life. It limits what you're able to generate with Sora 2 compared to other providers out there. To show you what I mean, I also generated this other video earlier on using this reference image to see if we could just bring that simple drink to life. That's the kick I needed. And as you can see, it absolutely works fine if we just provide it with that product photo. But if we try to give it a product photo and a person within it as well, it's not going to work. So what this means is we may get a fantastic one-off UGC ad that we can use for trying to build a brand around consistency for that person or scene or setting. It's going to be a lot more difficult than platforms like Google VA3 or Kling or some of the other ones out there already. Now, to be fair, OpenAI has said this is for safety. And honestly, they're right to be cautious because deep fake impersonations, consent and harmful content is a real issue, especially for how realistic these models are becoming. It's the right call in principle because they're trying to protect people's likeness and prevent misusage. But it's maybe also overly restrictive. This one error message wipes out most commercial workflows because almost every creative brief probably involves a human. The model's almost optimized for what performs well online. Fast visuals, clear motion, and instant dopamine. But it's not optimized for storytelling, it's optimized for attention. And that's why I say that Sora 2 isn't really built for creativity, but it's more built for brain rot as it currently stands. For creators, you can't have any consistency between characters maybe in a story. Meanwhile, tools like Google's VO3, Runway Gen 3, Kling 2.5, and many others out there still let you bring these photos to life. And Sora 2, for this reason, may win out on the realism, but at the moment, it's really limited in its actual usability. And let's be clear, Sora 2 can generate some amazing videos. The lighting, the physics, the motions, they're genuinely fantastic. But right now, it doesn't really seem to be generated for creators or marketers or storytellers, but rather instead for attention farms. And what's really interesting is, again, like I mentioned, platforms like Google's VO3 allow you to generate photorealistic humans already, while OpenAI is completely blocking them. It's the same technology, the same risk, but totally different philosophies. So what's the right approach? Tie restrictions to keep us safe or control freedom that lets creators push the boundaries. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm really interested to see what people's view are on this 
and where the space of AI video should go in the future. If you found this video interesting, definitely check this video out, which is all around comparing Sora 2 to Google VO3. Stay tuned for more around AI, automation, and have a great day.